I can't believe how cheap these are on Timu. Check this out. So today I have another video of actually useful tech products that I found on Timu. And I think this video's products might be even better than the last one, so I'm excited to get into it with you. Now one thing I do wanna say, this is all purchased with my own money. This is not sponsored. There is no affiliate links in the description. I actually found out that if you use affiliate links, Timu gets to own the rights to your footage. So this is just really cool that I personally found with my own money and I just wanted to let you know that. Okay. We got a lot of goodies in this one. Okay, let's take it all out. Okay, the first thing we got here is a flashlight that I thought was really cool. It's got a ton of different functions to it. Uh, it is a solar flashlight. It is considerably smaller than I thought it looked from the pictures. Um, but I mean, oh, that's cool. It's got, well, I probably shouldn't shine that at my camera lens, oops. Uh, it's got a nice orange lens to it. Um, it's got a side LED light that's super bright. Uh, let's see, what else does it have? It has these four lights on the end of their LED. And then it has two more side LED lights. Um, one, so you can see that it's actually solar. You can see that it's actually solar rechargeable right there. And right here, you can actually charge your devices with USB. And it's just USB-A, it looks like. Oh no, it actually does have... It has USB and then it has micro USB there as well, which I thought was pretty cool. So um, this is one of those things where it was just, you know, it was just handy to have a flashlight that you don't have to uh, use batteries for or doesn't have to recharge the old fashioned way. And so having a solar powered flashlight is just really handy to throw in your camping supplies or keep somewhere uh, outside of your house if you need one. So I just thought it was a nice thing. And honestly, I like the orange light and I like how bright it gets. Like that's just a regular kind of flashlight, but like, this first LED light, that, like that's actually pretty bright. Like this single light here, so I think it's a pretty good pickup. And for $10.47, I was like, yeah, that's that's pretty solid. Uh, I am gonna put a link to everything in the description down below. Again, they're not affiliate links, uh, but I will link everything in the description. Um, but yeah, for 10 bucks, I was like, that's pretty cool, a little solar LED light, so. Okay, so next up, this is actually pretty cool. I actually do a lot of traveling for work. Uh, and what this is, I'll go ahead and open it. Uh, let's see, let's get it open first. Has it upside down. Like the smallest USB C cable I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it's not the size that counts, right? Okay, so this is very simple. So this is a little camera detector. Oop. I gotta quit shining stuff into the lenses of my cameras. So basically, it uses these red lights to look around the room. And then when you look through there, it'll have a camera reflected back. Let's see if I can do it with my phone. So if I shine it and you look through the lens, you can see my camera, you can see my phone camera is kind of shining right there. It's not a really good example. I'll see if I can do a better one. Um, but basically this is so if you go into an Airbnb or a hotel room, you can shine it around the room and look through the red lens and then you can see uh, cameras pointing at you because it shines off of their sensors. Um, just one of those kind of safety things that's great to throw in a travel bag so you can see if there's things in there that, that could be watching you because you never know. And I'm excited to see how well this thing works out because it was $5.78 for this. Um, look how tiny this is. And it's rechargeable via USB-C, which is great. Normally these really cheap things like this are rechargeable like micro USB, um, but for USB-C recharging, this is like a must have for travel. And I literally just did my travel video. There's gonna be a couple products today that I wish that I would have included on my travel video that just came out. Um, but like, you know, just a really cool thing for five bucks. It's like, why not have one? On to the next thing. Um, okay, so next um, I got a car vacuum cleaner that was the highest rated one on Timu. Now as somebody, now as somebody that has a toddler, uh, you really don't understand how dirty a vehicle can get until you've got a little kid in it on, on road trips and stuff. Um, and so this is very simple. It's just a vacuum that stays in your car. You know, it's really small. I got gray, so it matches our, our vehicle. Uh, it comes with the vacuum itself. 
and then it has a little thin nozzle to get into nooks and crannies and then the little brush head here um, and then really I mean that's it it actually plugs into your cigarette lighter which I was surprised we have a, a 2020 Chevy Traverse and I was like do they even have these anymore these cigarette lighters they do they're not called really cigarette lighters anymore but it's just a way to power your device but they do have these and you can probably get adapters if you need it uh, unfortunately it has it's, you know there's no battery to it so you have to have it plugged in to use it but it looks like it has a fairly long cable so you should be able to reach most of your vehicle just super simple I, I can't remember how many reviews it had it had a ton um, but it was $14 $13.98 cents, but just 14 bucks for a nice little travel vacuum cleaner to shove into your glove box to be able to scoop you know suck up crumbs and whatever you may need it to do so and I think you can even buy filters to replace in there but just a super, you know, simple, almost like a little bit bigger than a glue gun, really. So, alrighty, on to the next item. Um, this is a super simple device. I got it also for $5. This is gonna be more for my camera people, my content creators. This is a multi cold shoe mount. Um, this right here, you know, go, slides into the top of your camera and tightens down. And then you have three different cold shoe options for your camera if you got mics and microphones and lights attached to it and stuff like that um, and a lot of times for my lavalier mics that I use a wireless uh, I use a Rode wireless go system connected to a Rode NTG microphone um, that way I have a wireless boom mic whenever I need it but sometimes I don't have the ability to put the actual receiver somewhere uh, on the mic itself it's just kind of either hanging there or I have to attach it with some, some kind of velcro that's simply just what this is it just is able to slide the mic on there I have a mic right here have the receiver right here and even a light right here if you need it um, and that's why I got it I mean five bucks it's hard to beat that usually these things are like 15 20 dollars for this tiny little piece of metal so Timu had it for five bucks so why not grab it on to the next item uh, this is something I was I got really excited about there were a ton of different options on Timu um, some were 30 to 40 dollars uh, what I got was what I got was 68 dollars so I kind of got the middle of the road and then some got up into the couple of hundreds but it's legitimately night vision. So I'm really excited to check this out. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but the reviews seem solid. I only buy Timu products that have video reviews in the comments so I can see the product actually being used because there's obviously a, a concern about quality with Timu products. Um, but let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay, so there's the headset itself. They had a lot of single eye headsets, but I like the double ones here. Um, you can't really see. This is the IR sensor, and then this is just a viewing scope, I think. Got a little bit of plastic to pull off. I don't know if it's gonna have battery power in it yet, but we will see if it works. And I'll show you some B-roll in a little bit just to show you what it looks like. That way you're not just completely relying on um, me telling you that it's good. Uh, Let's see, it comes with a USB-C cable for recharging. It even has a little strap to go around your neck and then a user manual. So very simple setup here. And then I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see it. It's got different clicky options. I'm not sure what the buttons do just yet. Um, it also, it is rechargeable. Uh, it is rechargeable, I think, via USB-C. Let's take a look at that. Oh, it actually has a micro SD card slot. Interesting. It came with a it came with a 32 gigabyte micro SD that goes in like right here, right next to the USB C recharging. I didn't realize this thing could record, so that's even more interesting. I'll see if I can get some footage of it and show you what it looks like on the night vision unit itself. It has IR plus and minus symbols, a camera symbol, power, menu, and mode, and it even has a little screw in for a tripod there. That way you can mount it so you can look at stuff. Um, Anyways, the, the, the videos from these look really great because you're literally looking through this screen. It's not like a pair of uh, binoculars where you have like these lenses. You're looking at this screen right here. So you don't even have to like hold it up to your eyes because you can kind of just hold it and look at the screen. So I'm really excited to check this out. Um, I'll show it in the B-roll to see if it's any good or not because unfortunately it's not turning on. It seems to be completely dead. But for $68, for the quality that I was seeing in the reviews, I was like, this is awesome. This is like a no-brainer um, to get. So anyways, we'll check it and see if it's worth it. But this is one of the products that I was really excited to showcase to you today. So hopefully it's worth checking out. This is really cool and I'm excited about it because it's actually going to help the quality of this channel and I'll explain why. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so what this is, this right here clamps onto your desk and it holds all of these arms, right? And each of these arms has a little grippy hand on it. Has a little grippy hands on it right there. Um, and really just the point of this is so that whenever I'm showing products to you as I'm reviewing them to get the best quality footage, I need ways to hold the products up from behind. Um, and I don't like to show what's holding the product. And so the point of this is to mount it to the back of my, rev my product reviewing table and from the back of the table have the arm come up and hold the product up. Um, and and the, you know, especially with like controllers and stuff like that, it's a real pain trying to hold them up to get good, clean shots of them. Um, so this is going to improve, I think improve the video quality of the products that I'm showcasing to you. Because a lot of the stuff, um, because a lot of the stuff, it's not just for personal use, it's also how can I you know, think about making better video experiences for my viewers. So I'm really excited about this. It was, this came in at $8.43. It's called the Helping Hand System. I think it's meant for like computer repair and stuff like that. So it can like hold like a motherboard while you put things onto it because these clips are really soft and rubber coated. But for me, it's just gonna hold products. So anyways, I'm really pumped to check it out. And uh, maybe you'll see it, hopefully you won't see it in one of the videos, but we'll see. Up next, we have a cable box. Alright. So this is super simple. It's just a cable box. It's got a bamboo top to it and a white side. And I'll show you in just a little bit. I have an office desk, a rising desk that has a bamboo top and a white frame. So this is going to match perfectly. I'll go ahead and take the plastic off. Okay. So if you don't know what this is, these little ties are for your cables, but I would never use these. I use Velcro straps. Basically, you put your cord nest in here, right? Like when you have just a bundle of nasty looking cables everywhere, it has on each end an entrance and an exit. And when you put your cables in there, cover it back up, and now you can set little house plants on it or whatever, and it's much more aesthetically pleasing when it, instead of having cables all over the place. This came in at $14. Um, these typically cost like 30 bucks on Amazon, and you know, it's actual, I don't know if it's actual bamboo or not. It is definitely wood. It's not plastic. This is plastic. Uh, for the price, though, I think it's pretty solid. You know, it's a ooh. it's a really good size. I you know I wasn't expecting it to be quite this large. With normally with with normally with Timu stuff, um, things are a lot smaller than you realize. Like the flashlight. Um, but yeah, pretty solid pickup for 14 bucks and it'll make my cables look a lot better, which I'll show some footage of as well. Next up, this is a you know really simple product I would be surprised if you hadn't heard of. Um, this is super simple. It is a headlamp, which I think everyone should have, but this thing just looked wild. <laughs> but it just looked wild with all the different lenses and everything. Uh, it comes with your head strap, which we'll see if it can fit my head. I have a really big head. I wear a size 8 hat. Uh, and then it charges via micro USB. Um, as far as the light itself, let's see if I can, if it turns on. Okay, so there's one light, four lights, all five lights. And from what I'm seeing right here, it's pretty bright. Oh, and it has a strobe effect. I guess if you needed, you know, if a scare an intruder that was coming into your house and you popped out with a strobe light on your forehead, that would, <laughs> that would work in your favor. Um, but yeah, it's pretty bright. That's one light, then four, then all five together and you know, if I was gonna be working on something, that's a pretty good amount of light. Again, shining stuff into my lenses, but yeah. Um, and then the, the strobe effect. Mm. This came in at $5.28. Um, these typically aren't that expensive in the first place, um, but I, I still thought that, you know, five bucks is not a bad price to have an extra headlight. It's actually quite large now that I'm looking at it. Like, that's a little ridiculous compared to a lot of LED headlights that I've seen, but you know, hey, it looks cool. So I was like, let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, next up, I don't remember what's in here. So we will, so we're gonna find out. What is this? Oh, okay, these are cool and I'm excited about these. Okay, I'm a big fan of solar products um, and these are going to help my workshop these are definitely smaller than I thought they would be, but that's the typical Timu way. Okay, so these have a solar panel right here um, with two power cords that go into these lights. Boom. 
just these simple lights right here. Um, don't know how bright they are. We'll see if they work in a second, but basically I'm going to hang these over my workbench. I don't have power in my outdoor building. So that's the whole point of these is to run the cable with the solar outside and then have the ability to turn these on or off. I believe there should be an on switch if I remember correctly. Okay, there's not. They just come on and stay on. That's kind of a bummer. But but at least I'll have light in there at all times. Um, but yeah, that's all these are. Just to give me some nice lighting over the workbench because I just don't have it in the budget to run electrical to my building yet. You can use these for your outdoor cook area. Uh, you can use these really anywhere that you might need extra lighting. Um, this is the warm lighting option. There was cold and warm. I went with warm and these came in at $19. I got them for $18.99, so they are $19. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can hook one up and see if it will turn on for us. I doubt there's any power to it because it's literally been inside of a dark box. So, yeah, no surprises there. Yeah, I'll show some footage of what these look like and, uh, you know, see if they're worth considering you picking up. Hey guys, I wanted to show you what they look like when they're on really quick. Uh, like I said a second ago, I did not realize that they did come with a remote in the box that has a decent amount of functionality to it, um, but they provide a pretty decent amount of lighting and they have three different lighting settings, um, but I'm pretty happy with them because I think they're kind of tough to beat for the price and now I don't have to pay for electrical to be run to my building. So just wanted to show you. Before we get to the last product, be sure to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment, what your favorite product is, what you're the most interested in, and if you like these videos. Uh, and also be sure to subscribe and join the Freaky Tech family. Again, these are this is paid for by my own money, and so you joining the family and supporting the growth of this channel will help me bring new videos like this to uh, this channel. So anyways, would love for you to join. Last up, this is a really cool uh, gravity timer. Um, I had never seen one of these before and it was super cheap at $12.95 for so for 13 bucks. Um, it charges via USB-C. It's a timer that depending on what side you set it on, uh, it changes to that timing. So you can see it has uh, 60 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, and then on the back it has, uh, you can change the minutes uh, settings. You can see all the different settings that it has on the back there and then uh, the different timers on it. Um, we'll see if it has any battery in it right now before I charge it. Oh, it also has an alarm too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like you can just start stop a timer on the back there. Can I hold to clear it? Yeah, you can, okay, cool. So as I turn it, like I'm gonna turn it on to the 60 minute mark. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the 10 minute. So you see that up, up next is 30 minutes, so let's turn it. It starts a 30 minute timer. Up next is 60 minutes, so we'll turn it. it starts a 60 minute timer, timer, and it does that with five minutes and 10 minutes. I, I just thought it was a cool thing. I'd never seen a timer that works like this where you can just, okay, enough beeping. You can actually turn off the beep and it, oh, it actually has haptic feedback, it vibrates. That's pretty cool. Uh, interesting. So I wonder if it kind of, you know, buzzes on the desk once it's done uh, and then it has a switch that turns off. So it looks like it has a stopwatch function and then it also has just the, the gravity timer function as well. There's a couple different options of these on Timu, but I went with this one specifically because the actual uh, numbers themselves changed orientation when you flipped it over. A lot of the other ones just like turned the numbers sideways and then would turn them upside down. And I was like, that's, that's so stupid. And so I really wanted to get this one specifically. Um, like I said, came in at $13. And I know that these timing increments may not be the best for everybody, but um, you know, I just thought it was kind of a cool thing that if you needed a timer like this for 13 bucks, it's just a really neat thing that kind of looks good on your desk as well. And it's just kind of handy to have. But anyways, that's it. That is 10 more useful tech products that I found on Timu. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But And thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far into the video, would love if you would consider liking the video as well. But either way, I really appreciate your time here and I really hope to see you again soon. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews. I'll see you next time.